Hello, welcome back to my bathroom. Welcome back to another video. I'm Valerie. This is a Valerie's vlog. I'm going to do my hair again. The last time I did my hair was about six months ago, maybe. I chopped it all off and actually Brad Mondo reacted to it and he said that it looked beautiful, so I'll take it. I'll tell you something, that ain't even. It's gonna be a mess. I think my head has been carrying this weight for too long. Wow. Wait, the cut is actually looking really good. See, this is what happens when you do it right, and she hasn't even styled it yet. I really thought this was gonna go a completely different direction. Add some curl to it. Oh my god! I really like this on her. I really, really do. But it has since grown out uh, several inches. My hair grows pretty fast. It's also pretty thick. And so my hair color has grown out quite a bit. I will show you. It's kind of like the line right here. And so I'm going to color my hair today. Now... I've done this before, semi-successfully. I've never tried to dye my hair while it's short, and I feel like when your hair is short, it's more obvious if you mess up. Like when it's really long, I, I don't feel like you notice it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's not true. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's do this. I have all sorts of clips. Hopefully this is enough. I have a lot of hair, so hopefully that will work. A little bowl, several packets of lightener, and these are the colors that I have. A six, a 10, and like an ash color, just in case I need to like mix a little bit in here. If this is too yellow, this will be for my roots. And some developer, I'm using 20 developer. A little mixer for the bowl, plenty of brushes. And I also have some saran wrap. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm not gonna do foil because uh, it develops like, if you can hear that, that's the peacocks. <laughs> We've got a bunch of peacocks in our backyard. I'm not going to use foils because they get really hot and my hair develops pretty fast from what I remember and so I don't want the bleach to get too hot. But I have heard you can use saran wrap instead and it doesn't get as hot as foils. I don't know if that's true. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Nice. The peacocks are so loud out there. Let me see if I can show you actually. This is my lighter. Mix one packet with two ounces of developer. I completely eyeballed that, so <laughs> I hope that that was actually two ounces. And now we mix it together. I watched some YouTube videos. Going to part it. You know, actually, I should take some before and afters. Okay, this is the before. Got it. <laughs> buns you've ever seen. <laughs> Step two, I believe you're supposed to go at an angle. I can't really see the back of my head, but okay. And then this is kind of a thick section, but I think that's okay for like the bottom half. I'll try to do more like baby lights on top. And next I think you Oh, I need to put gloves on and take my wedding ring off. <laughs> and then I think you apply it in like an M or W. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> no, let's do it. Okay. 
Is that terrible? something different. Um doing a little bit of weaving. Aggressively getting worse. I think I finished this side anyway. Um, you can see I tried to do some like highlights. I literally have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, but I can already see that this is this is cooking away down there. <laughs> so I need to I need to kind of hurry up and um, do this side so that way it's like even but hopefully I don't know maybe I use more bleach on this side but it's way lighter under there this is so time consuming and I'm like doing it the fast way giving myself some kind of face framing money sort of pieces. I do not know if this is the correct way to do this, but here we go. This could be a disaster because I didn't use any foils and I realize foils actually keep things kind of clean. So everything's not touching each other. So it's all just on top of each other like this. I mean, pretty bleached. Like I should probably take that out. But this side is not as much. Look how much blonder that side is. I wonder if I should put more bleach on this side not reach the same level of lightness that this side did. Well, hopefully that doesn't matter. Update. I've been sitting for um, 15 minutes and I had previously been doing this for a long time so like these early pieces have been in for a very long time. Um, I'm looking very blonde. <laughs> 
I went back through and I saw some areas that needed like touching up. Like there was like one little spot. So I like smoothed it out a little bit right here. Um, I don't know if I did that very well. Yeah, I might sit for like five more minutes and just kind of let those pieces that I just did have time to kind of work themselves out. Um, yeah, I don't know if I need to like, kind of feel like I need to go up to my scalp. Some of the, it's like right there. There was like, when I was looking under here, it wasn't looking so hot. So I was trying to go back through and see if I could like smooth it out a little in some of these pieces. We're just gonna leave this. I need to wash my hands. I just washed my hair. We're looking pretty, pretty, oh no. <laughs> oh no, look how bad that looks. Hopefully we can fix that. Oof, that is so bad. Oh man, I did not see that spot right there. Let's tone this. <laughs> to do like a root, a root tap, I believe is what you call it. And I got these two. This will be the main color, but then I got the ash to mix in with it. So that way it's not as yellow. One part color, two parts developer. mixing up this color and I I am scared at how yellow this is. Can you see this? I added in a little bit more of the ash color just now to try to like soften it. This may be the worst thing that I've ever done. I don't know. Making a very big mess and probably a very big mistake. Wow this is so strong. Oh. Wow. And I'm burning. My eye is literally watering. Oh, this is so messy. Oh, I'm literally crying. Oh, I can't breathe. Okay. I can't breathe. Oh, it's burning my eyes. Oh my gosh. I just should have put on gloves. What am I doing? Oh, I'm making a huge mess. Oh, oh, this smells so bad. Oh, I'm literally crying. This is a disaster. This is the worst thing I've ever done. this sit for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm so scared about this. Granted it does look worse on camera than it does in the mirror. Stay tuned. Ta -da! Uh, I curled it because I wanted it to have kind of like a beachy blonde summery sort of look. It's like a lot to get used to so it's hard to say if I like it but it's different. It's fun, I guess. I'll tell you that I did not do a very good job um, <laughs> in this section right here. And when it's curly, you can't really tell. When it's straight, you can definitely tell. I'll show you what it looks like straight too. Okay, I'm showing it in natural lighting and also what it looks like straight. Um, <laughs> Can definitely see where I messed up which is really splotchy right here 
but um, because it's just right here, I kind of feel like maybe I could fix it later on just by taking out, like, just like going over these pieces just a little bit. Well, hopefully no one will be looking on top of my head. I should show you the back. I'm like in front of a window. So this is what it looks like in natural lighting. It does look quite a bit different in like warm lighting. It looks pretty low. I'll show you. I tried to do, you can kind of see on this side more so than I tried to give myself like highlights and it actually kind of worked. This side, not so much. Or so, it just got really splotchy, but this side kind of worked. So, if you look at me, look at this side of my hair. Don't look at this one. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. This was really fun. My eyes are still burning from all of the chemicals and I haven't eaten lunch and it's been like four hours. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs, get something to eat, but I'll see you in my next video.